So we finally got the PlayStation 5. <laughs> it's been a bit of a journey. We're gonna make this quick, then move over to some of the other stuff because everybody's seen these unboxings five billion times at this point. So let's just get started with it. I couldn't move my camera high enough for this thing. So that's why I got this side camera to hopefully do it some justice. Oh my goodness, just like I thought this thing is heavy. Similar to the Series X. Here we are. Ooh, and another box to go through. So we got some of the basic stuff again. Cable, uh, power cable. Put that to the side. Instructions that we're never gonna read. The DualSense controller, which we've already gone through. Very detailed, if you haven't seen that video, very detailed to dive into the DualSense controller in comparisons. We got the stand, which we're gonna put on, of course. Boom, I believe this is at the bottom. Okay, HDMI 2.1 cable, USB-C cable, which I thought would have came with the Series X, but it didn't. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. What, these guys got a little bit of a scratch here. Hopefully you guys can see that on the side, obviously. My goodness, is this thing gorgeous. This thing is pretty, man. So let's put this right here. And we've got the Series X right there. Hopefully you guys can see it over there. Yeah, PS5 is is a big boy in comparison to the Series X over here. But like in terms of heaviness, I don't know. The few, does the PS5 feel a little lighter? Maybe. Again, at this point, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen anything. Let's just put this stand on. There should be a click. Boom. We've got a screw. Take this out. Put this over here. And let's get this going. Yes. Can you guys see that over there? Wow, this thing is beautiful to look at. Oh, man, I, I just can't <laughs> uh. But yeah, now let's move over to the stuff on the TV. So this is what we got for the UI. Don't have many things right now, but I will definitely be getting stuff. Go on to the store, got it. 
to the station store. It's very simple, very clean. Collections, PlayStation collection. Oh, like this, the PlayStation 5 UI is so crisp, it's ridiculous. Included in the PS Plus collection. Might have to download some of these. It's very, very clean. Killing Floor 2, I already have that. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of these games I already have. Um, very crisp. Subscriptions. I am subscribed to PlayStation now. I can't get over how good the UI looks. Browse. I guess this is every game available on the store. Um, I don't think so, right? Definitely not. It's very fast to move through all of these games. We got, okay. PlayStation Now. I wanna see how good the latency is. I might make a video on that, how good PlayStation Now is. I feel like it might not have changed. I hope it has, but probably would have been a bigger thing among people if it was that big. Media gallery before, remote play onto your PlayStation 4. Uh, my games library. Sort by platform. PlayStation 3. These are all PlayStation Now games. I wonder if they're gonna add that thing uh, I, I spoke to you guys about where they're gonna let you download these separately and buy them separately as if they're digital games. That'll be interesting to see. Installed, PlayStation Now, PlayStation Plus. It's very clean, very organized. There we go, we got the control center. Okay, music, downloads. It's a lot of the stuff we've seen before, but the UI, very crisp. I'm, I'm gonna, I guess, start recording the first game I'm gonna play, or hmm, we'll see. But this has been the unboxing, the uh, quick look at the UI, what we got here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, Hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.